morning, JMC3 here coming at you with the CRKT Columbia River Knife and Tool M16. It's a Kit Carson design, plain edge version. Fast. So let's get this over with. Okay, the blade overall length is about 7 inches. You know, you're going to go into 7.125, but let's, it's 7 inches. Let's keep it cut and dry, and as my boy says, let's keep it raw. The handle is titanium. The blade is OS 8 steel. And what they do is they do a ceramic bead blast on this, on the handle, even though it's a titanium handle, to give it a texture to avoid slippage. You have a slight amount of jimping on it, but for the most part, the, jim the jimping is pretty much decorative. Now, what would be a nice touch if they could take some of this amazing texture they put on the, um, the pivot head here and make that part of the jimping. But a knife this big, you don't really need all of that. Okay, like I said, it's RS8. Weight of this is about 2.5 ounces. Well, actually under 2.5. Extremely light. Pocket clip can be put right or left, but that's your only option. As you can see. And it's going to be a clip down only. God, I could open this thing all day. And believe it or not, I have. Waiting for the bus. Scanning the web. Etc. 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 It becomes addictive after a while. What you have is a spear point blade, razor sharp. Now I reviewed CRK TM line before. I call them my mini, mini pry bars. This is a more delicate version. Just as strong, just as sharp. But the sheer weight of this is my replacement for something like this. And they both got their own kind of elegance to them, but I kind of veer more towards this. With that locking mechanism, what it does is, as you can see, it's automatically activated to when this flips out and the blade flips open this clips in and creates this from moving back so now the liner lock is stuck turning this into a somewhat fixed blade I mean it's, there's no way it's going to be as strong as a fixed blade but it puts it up a notch since this is in a locked position preventing this from moving now this would be an EDC dream for me I've carried this around I've actually had this in my pocket walked around the house for a while forgot I even had it and went looking for another blade to slip into my pocket that's how invisible this beautiful Kit Carson design is at 2.4 ounces razor sharp and when people often ask you know they go hey what's the big deal about the handle being titanium if the uh, blade isn't 
But a lot of times, because of the the hardness of the titanium blade, you don't you really don't really want. I'm not going to say that. I don't know what you want. It's preferable that you have the handle being made of titanium and the actual blade itself maybe being made of something else. The reason is, is because of the hardness. It actually has a better strength to weight ratio than steel or aluminum, which actually makes the overall weight of the blade that much lighter. But not just as strong, but stronger than steel or aluminum. And what it does to the blade is like you can go a uh, you can go a higher quality steel on a blade, but in this case they just went with all eight, which is which is fine with me because I want to use the blade a lot. I'll just sharpen it up on the stone, and I'll be good to go. Give it a good stropping. You're back in business. This little CRKT M1601T actually is it's an upgrade for me because what I was carrying around before is called the Gerber Evo. Good, good blade. However, this is one of these things that you almost wish the designer shared information because Gerber has a hit or miss relationship with me. This is a beautiful blade. Texture, everything. Weight, blade design, opening, beautiful. What I couldn't deal with is right there. The space in between the handle is so wide that it's not going to be too long and actually if I open this blade too fast or even if I push it just a little bit it's all the way over to the side leaving this the blade free to close on my hand and I mean just a quick hard snap and it's all the way over there so in the space there shouldn't be that much space I mean smaller washers or whatever a thicker liner a thicker liner lock could have prevented that. A great design that just, to me, the businessmen or the the, the peanut counters kind of just did away with it, trying to save some money. But CRKT got it right. So this is going to be a short review since it's a short knife. Fast, easy opening. I would have done that as I'm trying to do do a review. Go out and get yourself one. The price tag on this is going to be a slightly steep because of the titanium handle. But if you hunt around, you can get it from the $67 to the $70 mark. So I want to end this review with a little knife porn and just float this by you a couple of times. Let you absorb the beauty of this blade. I've used this. Man, I hope I didn't need this paperwork. CRKT. Go out and pick yourself up one. This is JMC3 out.